Okay, so let's move the sidebar across to the right. I'll explain why in a second, because if we just go to appearance and then we go to move sidebar right, we get it across here. Now, if you do, um, if you open and close this, and my shortcut is this, as it appears and reappears, your code doesn't jump about. Do you see how my code is staying in the same place? If I had it on the left, which is the default, move side by left, do you see how my code jumps about on the screen? So I think it's better to have it across on the right, and that's a, a tip that I picked up the other day and um, ever since. I've been thinking what a good idea that is. So yeah, move sidebar right. There we go. The code stays still. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is hide the activity bar. So if you go to view appearance and you can toggle that. So show activity bar and well, if i'm in the middle of a project i don't really often need to use this uh, and if you know the shortcuts then you can just gain some extra space on the screen so you can go to show activity bar and the other one you can toggle as well is also view and you can hide the status bar um i don't particularly need that on a lot of the time so yeah status bar and activity bar Now this next tip might be a bit controversial because it is hide the menu bar. So if you go up to view and you just, again, you're just gaining a little bit more real estate on the screen. So show menu bar. The only problem is there's no shortcut assigned to it at the moment. So now it's gone, it's gone. But you can see you've just gained that little bit of space at the top. Now, now that it's gone, I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so now our menu bar's gone. We do Control Shift P, and the good thing about this is it saves it saves your recent history as well. So what I want to do is I want to um, I want to open the workspace settings, and then I want to edit what appears on the right hand side. So you can see the search. So I just want to search for extension and there we go up here somewhere we've got files to exclude and I want to hide the workspace file extension so we go add pattern and then wildcard and then we say dot code dash workspace enter and it's gone you see how workspace no longer appears in your right hand folder which is nice so um yeah and then close settings and um, there we go so we've got a nice neat uh workspace there so yeah control shift p and you've always got your recent history there anyway so quite often what you want to find will be in the list and if it's not then just type what you're looking for and it, you'll invariably find it so i hope these tips have been useful and if you think they are rubbish or if you think you've got some better ones or some adjustments which you would recommend um i know dark screen is not to end.